So what you see here on my screen is a current version of the Channelizer Pro application. And I just wanted to give this a spin and compare and contrast it with the Cisco Spectrum Expert application, which is the application that I'm used to using. But uh, Metageek sent me a Wi-Spy DBX uh, adapter, so I'm giving the Channelizer Pro a spin as well as their application, just the Channelizer 3.4. So what you see here on the screen is the main view of the Channelizer Pro. Up here at the top you have your display. Um, I have mine set to show me the amplitude, but you can also view the color density by the density of access points, but I have it set to show me the amplitude of the signal that it's, is being heard by my Intel 3945A card. Um, there's a bunch of different interactive buttons you can use to show the averages or the max or the density or the networks or uh, transmitting devices. But uh, Metageek has a lot of really great videos on YouTube. Um, I just stumbled across those this morning uh, that gives you the, the in and outs and, and the main um, focal points of the application and what it does and can do. Um, you can see down here in the bottom there's a bunch of different tabs with different information on them. Um, over here on the right pane you have a report header uh, or, or report generator. Excuse me, I'm going to minimize that so we can go through the tabs down here at the bottom better so they get bigger. Um, down here at the bottom you can see the different channels and you can see the percentage of the duty cycle that's being utilized by that channel. Um, you can also see in the networks table you can see all of the different SSIDs that can be heard by my Intel card and the different signal strengths that they're heard at, the channel that they're on, the MAC address, if there's any security on them. Um, there's also information under the Showcase tab that will play back recordings of different types of devices so you can see the signature patterns that are associated with different types of devices like microwaves or Bluetooths or um, video cameras or Zigbee devices. This can be very helpful in identifying visually the pattern that a device gives off um, by the nature of its RF uh, transmission. So the thing that I think that's neat about the time span off to the left is that you can hover over different sections of the time span and it will give you a visual snapshot of what was going on at that point in time in history in the time span. And from there you can just double click in it and play back that section right up here in the, uh, the main window at the top of the screen. So to con contrast with uh, Cisco Spectrum Expert, it has a bunch of different charts that you can add for channel utilization, interference power, um, active devices. You can um, add plots for real-time uh, devices, duty cycles, swept spectrograms, power versus frequency, power versus time. You can add charts for active devices, devices versus channel, devices versus time. Um, one of the custom charts that I've got that I use whenever I'm doing spectrum analysis is the uh, the real-time FFT for the 2.4 gigahertz and the duty cycle uh, swept spectrogram looks an awful lot like the, uh, the waterfall view of the Channelizer Pro. So that's interesting to note there that they can get the same kind of visual. This is the swept spectrogram for the 5 gigahertz uh, frequency. You can see there's 20, 21 APs that are currently identified by the Cisco Spectrum Expert. Um, the one interesting thing that I thought uh, that the Channelizer Pro had that um, I have to do manually from the Cisco Spectrum Expert is generating graphics and report data from the Cisco Spectrum Expert application. The Channelizer Pro has a neat way to automatically build reports um, with the information that you've uh, identified or collected from the Channelizer Pro application. And it's pretty straightforward where you just say, I want to capture the, the density graph that I'm currently looking at, and it will embed a little picture of the density graph. If you want to customize the report header, you just click the pencil and add a company logo, site info, and you give it more information um, so you can start to generate a customized report for a specific customer. I want to flip back out of the Channelizer Pro application for a second and go back to something that I thought was interesting in the Channelizer 3.4 and in the Channelizer 3.4 application they custom populate the application with little graphic captures of what an RF source of interference looks like when it's detected so that you can tell by the shape of the the RF wave what what may or may not be going on um, and I thought this was really cool that there's a topographic view uh, for 802.11b, 802.11g, um, 
video transmitters like the little wireless camera that I have that for testing as a source of interference. Um, say for example I've got it right here and I'm going to plug it in and you'll see that even though it's not a Philips wireless camera it's just a little generic one that I bought off eBay for about 20 bucks or so but when I plug it in you can see that it's RF chart characteristics the topographic view right here looks just like the Philips video transmitter wave wave pattern so that would be a very cool way to just know by looking at the the shape of the amplitude wave what the device is because you've become familiar with these different devices that maybe you haven't personally encountered but uh, you can tell what they look like from these little captures that, that the uh, Medigeek people have built into the Channel Esther 3.4 application. Um, you can see here that this device takes up 100% of the duty cycle. Let's go back to the Cisco Spectrum Expert and see similar type of information um, where this device is just stomping all over channel 1. And if we go into devices, it will be identified as an analog video 2.4 gigahertz device that's taking up 100% of the duty cycle and affecting channels 1 through 4. But this application here shows you the tight pattern that is generated by an analog video transmitter, much like the one here from Philips. I wanted to pause this here and put some popcorn in the microwave that's to the right of me and capture the RF output of a microwave in use. Okay, I just started the popcorn cooking. I'm going to leave the video transmitter on. Um, you can see some source inter interference. Looks like it starts to jump up here, nearby channel 12. Let's see what Cisco Spectrum Expert says. Microwave oven, pretty good signal strength. 30% of our duty cycle is affected channel 7 through 8. So if I go into, you can see how the, the wireless video transmitter is just eating up channel 1. And you can see the microwave here where it's starting to, to affect the, the channels further over to the right of the spectrum on the screen. But if I wanted to zoom in on what's going on here on this chart, I can. Um, actually, let me switch back to the let me switch back to the Channelizer Pro. Interference is right over in here. And from there we can zoom in and we can look at the, the RF of this particular range of the frequency much more closely. And it looks like looks like the popcorn's focused right around the, the spectrum uh, of 2467. I'm not sure exactly what channel that is, but I can turn this to show me the Wi-Fi channels. And I just wanted to make sure that it says the same as the Spectrum Expert. I'm sure it does, but uh, let me go back into devices. It still senses the microwave oven, even though you can hear the popcorn has stopped, which is interesting, probably because it has a second or two to refresh. So Channelizer Pro has the microwave popcorn right about here. Let me go back to current.